Transformation Church families. My name is Joy Foster. I'm a registered nurse and I'm bringing you your health moment today. Today we're going to talk about contact tracing and contact tracing is when you are notified by the health department that you have come into contact with someone who has been tested positive for, for coronavirus or COVID-19. Please make sure you answer the call if it says Department of Health, because it really and truly could save your life. The contact tracers are calling you to inform you that you have been in contact, also to find out when and where you may want to get tested, and number three, then that way they will continue to follow you, so if you develop symptoms. It is very important, as this week alone, the state of Delaware has what we call ticked up a little bit to 200 new cases, new diagnosed cases of coronavirus. So we need to stop the spread of the virus by still using our mask that we have, as well as the other masks, which are homemade, which will serve the purpose. But most of all, making sure that you are physically distanced at least six feet from other people when you're out in public, if you have to go out in public. So I thank you for your time, for your patience, and help stop the spread of COVID-19. It may very well save your life by stopping the spread. Thank you, see you next week.
that James was a half brother of Jesus and in John 7 1 5 it says that him and his siblings did not believe who Jesus was and you can read it for yourself how they had told Jesus to go on up in Jerusalem and how they was gonna uh, knew that, that they was gonna kill Jesus but after the resurrection James found out who Jesus was. He seen him for himself. He knew in his heart, because of all the miracles that Jesus was doing, who he was, that he was the son of the living God. It shows that James humbled himself from James 1.1. 1, 1. When James said, James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, he humbled himself unto God, knowing that Jesus was the Son of God. He depended upon God because of John 4, 8, and you can read that also for yourself. James ended up being one of the pillars in Jerusalem church. James showed believers that their obedience to God's moral standards is an indication of a living faith. James was full of grace. He was, at first he was self-righteous, but when he came to find out who Jesus was, he humbled himself unto God, and he became the uh, pillar in Jerusalem. He went out to let the people know who Jesus was. He taught. He told them about the tongue. How the tongue can get you in trouble. How the tongue is a fire when you be talking about the wrong things and how probably how his family did talking about Jesus and humiliating Jesus and not believing who Jesus was. But thanks be to God that he humbled himself through the faith that he's after he's seen his brother that was a resurrection Christ. Amen. <laughs> 